Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So after posting a couple of days ago, showing you how to block third-party cookies in Chrome, Brave, Edge, Firefox, and Vivaldi, which are more or less, give or take, your mainstream web browsers, I thought just to do a follow-on from that and show you how you can enable a do not track request in the same browsers. And the reason for this is because, as mentioned in that video, which will be linked down below and in the end screen, third-party cookies, also known as tracking cookies, allow an advertiser to track your visits to other websites, but there's a bit of give and take. Although it increases your privacy, it can break some websites. So that can cause, um, blocking third-party cookies can cause different components of different websites to not function correctly. So there's a bit of give and take. So the next best thing um, then would be to ask a website basically not to track you. So do not track requests. What it does is it asks the sites you visit in your web browsers not to collect your data. And then obviously it's up to the site if they um, want to do that or not. So if they obey this request or not. So there's a bit of give and take once again, but this is another option and um, that you can try out. Now, how we do this is starting off with Google Chrome in no particular order, just as they are kind of on my taskbar. How we enable a do not track request is we head up to our main menu, settings, head over to privacy and security, click on third party cookies. And if you scroll down, yeah, you'll see send a do not track request with your browsing traffic sites use their discretion when responding to this request so it doesn't mean you, if you're asking a site um to not track you that um it won't okay and then just just quickly before we look at the other browsers just to dive a little bit deeper into this it says enabling do not track means that a request will be included with your browsing traffic any effect depends on whether a website responds to the request and how the request is interpreted. For example, some websites may respond to this request by showing you ads that aren't based on other websites you've visited. Many websites will still collect and use your browsing data, for example, to improve security, to provide content services, ads, and recommendations on their websites, and to generate reporting statistics. So that's according to Google when you enable Do Not Track. So it's not foolproof, but it is a kind of plan B if you don't want to be tracked and obviously you want your websites in most cases to function correctly so that's how you enable a do not track request in google chrome now moving on to brave very similar process once again we head up to our main menu settings privacy and security and yeah we just scroll down until you see send a do not track request you can toggle that on the same applies and then moving on to microsoft edge once again, head up to our three-dotted main menu, head to Settings, Privacy Search and Services, and yeah, we're going to scroll down to where we see Privacy and Send Do Not Track Requests. There we go. We can toggle the feature on. Then moving into Mozilla Firefox, head up to the main menu, Settings, Privacy and Security, and we scroll down just a little bit and here you'll see send websites that do not track request you can just toggle that on so that's firefox and last but not least vivaldi and for this we head up to our main menu again settings privacy and security and right here at the top tracking prevention ask websites not to track me you can toggle that on at the top left there on the privacy page in vivaldi so that's how you do it in the web browsers that we feature on this channel now um if you want to see if your do not track request is enabled and is working you can head over to this site which i'll leave down below what is my browser.com and you might have to refresh it once it's on and you can see is do not track enabled yes it is i'm just showing you this in google chrome so there we go yes it is enabled and obviously if i pop that off and we refresh the site it should say no so there we go so this is a nice website just to check it out if you want to double check that do not track is actually enabled or not so that's how you can enable do not track requests in chrome brave edge firefox and vivaldi in case you would be interested so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one